Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to prove that sine is continuous, we need to show that the limit as x approaches a of sine of x is equal to sine of a for every real number a. By exercise 63, an equivalent statement is that the limit as h approaches 0 of sine of a plus h is equal to sine of a. We're asked to use uh, 6 to show that this is true. Uh, statement 6 is simply that the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x equals 0 and the limit as x approaches 0 of cosine of x equals 1. That will come in handy later. So we're going to start with the fact that we have the limit as h approaches 0 of sine of a plus h, and this is equal to sine of a. So if we can prove that this is equal to this, then we know that this is equal to sine of a, since the first thing is equal to the sine of a. So we start off with the limit um, as h approaches 0 of sine of a plus h, right? And to show what I'm doing, this is equal to sine of a. And we're going to use the fact that the sine of a plus h is equal to the sine of a times the cosine of h plus the sine of h times the cosine of a. Using the limit laws, we can split this up into the limit as h approaches 0 of sine of a cosine of h plus the limit of sine of h cosine of a. We can pull out the terms that don't have an h in them, so this is equal to the sine of a times the limit as h approaches 0 of cosine of h plus cosine of a times the limit as h approaches 0 of sine of h. And now we can plug in our statement 6 terms. The limit as h approaches 0 of cosine of h is 1. So this is sine of a times 1 plus cosine of a times the limit as h approaches 0 of sine of h is 0. So we have sine of a times 1 plus cosine of a is 0. This is equal to sine of a. And therefore, we can say that the limit as h approaches 0 of sine of a plus h is equal to sine of a. And therefore, the um, limit as h approaches 0 of sine of a plus h equals sine of a, and that the sine function is continuous for all real numbers. Because by statement 63, this is an equivalent statement to this. Because by 63, this means that the limit as x approaches a of sine of x is equal to sine of a.